Hey what's up guys, I'm Nizio Cole, and while I was working on my Google Stadia 6 months later video, I noticed a free Stadia Pro game called The Turing Test. I thought it looked pretty cool, it was supposed to be set 200 years in the future in Europa. I downloaded it, enjoyed it a fair bit, so here is my second episode of Indie Interpolation. Enjoy. As far as gameplay goes, it was a really solid experience and towards the end, the puzzles were actually getting pretty challenging and more difficult than any other puzzle game I've played before. The one thing I will note is that the controls felt pretty rigid at first and I thought it had something to do with me using a Stadia controller so I switched to mouse and keyboard and then there was this weird sensitivity bug. Thing. I don't I don't even know how to explain it. It's it was really weird It wasn't necessarily a deal breaker, but it did get pretty annoying at times The best way I can describe the feeling is it wasn't really fluid at all But other than that the puzzles felt pretty nicely paced up until like the last few chapters And then it felt like it was kind of dragging on a bit But in general they were pretty good quality and they definitely worked my brain a fair bit The soundtrack for the Turing Test could quite honestly be mistaken for the soundtrack of an $100 million Hollywood movie. It honestly was such a good soundtrack that in my opinion, it does an amazing job at capturing the overall atmosphere and leaves you with feelings of dismay and uncertainty and really puts you in the shoes of our protagonist. And it just adds so much depth to the world that this is definitely one of the better game soundtracks that I've heard. So I went into the Turing test with zero expectations, and then after a while of playing I realized that I didn't actually know what type of game it was going to be. And turns out it's a puzzle game. So I thought, okay cool, puzzle game with a sci-fi distant future storyline, there's even a psychopathic AI. It'll be like Portal. Couldn't be more wrong. Like I mentioned before, the game screams uncertainty and dismay. Without spoiling too much about the story, I will say that I really really like the part where you and Tom work together in a sense and become one with each other. And there are a few big decisions in the game, I won't spoil them, but it's either you choose one side or another side. And at first I thought they were going to be pretty easy decisions, but as I thought more about them, it was pretty hard to make up my mind. And it turns out that these big decisions where the game is asking you to choose are actual like big like moral questions that I feel like you'd study in a philosophy class in college. They do actually take quite a bit to think about because you really don't want to pick the wrong answer and it, this is one of those rare games where it feels like your actions do actually affect the future. And at the end of the game there is a pretty big decision that at the end of the day just comes up to what type of person you are on the inside. Both can be right and both can be wrong. And no matter which one you think is most morally satisfying it still leaves you with a sense of guilt. This is a really great story and it actually gets you thinking. In conclusion, I rate Turing Test 6.3 out of 10. Now, my reasoning as to why it's so low is that, one, the last two chapters of the game really dragged on and it felt like for the amount of time I spent on the puzzles, it just felt really disproportionate hearing a few lines of dialogue at the start of the level and then taking 10 to 20 minutes to solve the stage. It really kind of took me out of the experience, especially for the levels that took a bit longer to solve. I feel like in comparison to a game like Portal 2, it just felt a lot less dense story-wise. Nonetheless, it was a pretty memorable game due to the story and how actually close to reality it is and these big, deep philosophical questions that the game asks. It really shows that not everything in life is black and white. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any indie games you would like me to review in the future, leave them down in the comment section below and I'll make sure to check them out. So for now, it's been Cole. Peace.